Create a watch list, create a tradable uh, watch list that you can trade stocks coming off a of bottom. You don't want anything that's up seven, eight, nine days in a row. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com Weekend Update Show. Hope everybody is doing well. It's not officially the weekend yet. Uh, for all you guys who are uh, Friday enjoying your iced coffee or any adult beverage, uh, it is still Friday and it is uh, quarter, basically the market has been closed for about 45 minutes and unfortunately, if you are a sports parent like I am and your kids have 38 uh, activities throughout the weekend, this is your only time. So welcome aboard. Hope everybody uh, had a great week of trading. So last week, um, the markets got absolutely shelled. 5.8% um, decline in the S&P 500. Just brutal. Just absolutely brutal. Uh, and again, big picture. Again, we talk about big picture. We don't talk about opinions, we talk about reality and we talk about facts. Again, we're not bulls, uh, we're not bears, we're just realists, right? When it's time uh, to short stock, we short stock. When there's time to buy stock, we buy stock. When it's time to sit and watch and collect data, you kind of get the picture. So the question was, uh, the question going into uh, this new week, and it was a shortened week, was well, what was gonna happen, right? Was it gonna be more selling? Uh, was there gonna be more capitulation, more bad news? Was it gonna be more Fed? Was it gonna be more this and more that and more? And traders' heads were about to blow up. And the one cool part about trading, and I've been saying this for years and years and years, just when you think, you know, just when you think the, the walls are closing in, you just don't have any answers, right? You just don't have any answers uh, you have no course of direction. You have nothing, right? You feel like this is it, like the dark cloud is over you. The market really just snaps on a dime. And, you know, by no stretch of the imagination um, are, is anybody today talking about, is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? This is the bottom. This is it. This is it. This is the bottom. The question is, is, not the is it the bottom? The question is, what happens next? That's always the question of what happens next because it's irrelevant if it's the bottom. Because if it's the bottom, it's only four days in. The good news about this week was the market was very aggressive and everything that was getting taken down uh, last week, right? And especially uh, the technology names, they held very, very strong and put up a very, very aggressive week. And if you look at the final tally, last week, the S&P lost 5.8%. The S&P gained 6.5% this week. That's a lot, right? That's, that's absolutely a lot. Uh, last week, Nasdaq lost a little bit less than six percent. They gained, you know, they gained, you know, seven point five percent this week. That's that's ridiculous. That's crazy. And the most important part, if you watched last uh, last night's video, usually I don't have a Thursday night video, but I didn't have one for Wednesday, so I recorded it. We talked about how you know it felt a little bit different, right? Bad news was being, um, you know gobbled up a little bit. I made reference yesterday uh, to what we started seeing really, really ag aggressive call buyers in names like Tesla and Amazon. Uh, we also talked about yesterday how a negative headline, like for example, uh, Netflix, I believe, uh, eliminating X amount of percentage of their workforce, that got swallowed up as well. And last night, if you just watched last night's video, you see how important these levels were. We talked about the Qs, we talked about uh, the S&P. And I, I tell you, you know, the market gapped up today. Uh, we had a lot of really good values. You can imagine everything on the NASDAQ uh, exploded. So it wasn't like the pivots were so great today. Everything was good, right? So it's not like one of those days you turn around and go, wow, I really picked the right stocks. It's, everything went higher, right? Everything in technology went higher. Uh, even the semiconductors that we talked about yesterday, they were having an issue. Semiconductors woke up very, very aggressively, uh, setting up some really you know, big moves and coming out of some channels. But again, the question is going into next week. It's not the question of, again, is this the bottom? Who cares, right? That's water cooler talk. That's, you know, that's somebody looking for tweets and reshares and likes. Nobody cares. Nobody cares if you're the one that's calling a bottom. Nobody cares. The question is, can the bulls continue this rally? That's the only thing that should be on your mind. And the question is, can they still build on those levels that we reclaimed this week? Because if you guys remember, we reclaimed a pretty big level on the 20-day moving average uh, back on May the 26th. 
And for the next two weeks, we went sideways only to give up that 20 day moving average and then fall, you know, fall down on our faces. Here we are again, right? Here we are again. This is deja vu, like Yogi Berra said. This is deja vu all over again, right? So here's where we closed above the 20 day moving average, had a couple of days pops and ultimately lost it. And here is again, our first close again above the 20 day moving average. And now the question is, can we extend today's rally? And if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand, well, again, look at the next supply. The next supply is 301. Like yesterday on the video, we talked about potential rallying to 290, 293. Well, we rallied the 290. We rallied the 293 and closed above it at 294 and change. So the most important part right now on the queues is to reclaim that 295 level and start building, start really aggressive building. And once they start building, everything will get pulled up. If you, if you believe in a half-assed company that's part of the technology group, it should get pulled up. If your stock does not rally with the rest of the queues are rallying and all the members are rallying and everything's literally rallying, you're in the wrong stock. It's very, very simplistic. Like It's very simplistic in nature. When everything gets manslaughtered and everything starts waking up, everything needs to rise. And that's why today, is, excuse me, this week, you saw a pretty much a full week for the exception of the semiconductors that finally turned around today, you saw everything rising. Tesla woke up, Google is running into its split. Uh, Amazon has been a monster, absolute beast. A meta, you know, had had went from zero to hero just like that. Netflix again spun this whole uh, we're selling off, you know, we're spinning off, you know, twenty percent of our workforce, whatever the hell it was, and it, it went higher. So we're getting a lot of good value right now on the long side. And the question going into the bulls next week: Can we continue? So here are the levels that we are watching for next week. You can see two ninety five is a huge level. Everybody see that two ninety five was the high from June the 10th, 295 da, 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 was the high from today. So the queues need to start building 295. If they do, you got to move to 301 and then to this 305, 306. Now, why is 305, 306 important? Because that is the 50 day moving average. That is where risk goes on. And that's the most important part right now. Again, big picture, we're still below the 50 day moving average. And if you guys notice, the last time we went on the 50 day moving average, we had a two week run, very, very aggressive run and kind of started like we're seeing today. The 20 day moving average rallied to the 50, the 50 got reclaimed and rallied to the top of the range. Here's the 20 day moving average, here's the 50 and here's what be at the top of the range here, baby steps. Don't put the cart in front of the horse. Don't try to rationalize it. Don't do anything. Don't guess, right? We know our levels. We know what happens when they break those levels and start building on those levels. And if they get rejected off those levels, obviously that is not a good thing. And if you look at the spies, again, we talked about the spies yesterday. They needed to reclaim uh, this two, uh, 384 level. Again, same case scenario. They reclaimed uh, the big number here. It stopped above uh, the 20 day moving average again this is the last time we closed above the 20 day moving average we went to the next supply so here's the next 20 day moving average our next supply is all the way up here so we are set up the key is going into next week is find a watch list create a watch list create a tradable uh, watch list that you can trade stocks coming off a of bottom. You don't want anything that's up seven, eight, nine days in a row. Yes, you want your stock to be strong, but you want your stock to coming off the bottom of the range. Remember, if you're going to jump, and I've used this analogy all the time, if you're going to jump, you don't want to jump from the, you know, you don't want to jump from the 10th floor that you're going to break your neck and, and probably die. You want to jump from the first floor. That's why we're looking for stocks that they're mirroring the NASDAQ 100. They're mirroring the S&P 500 stocks that are coming off the bottom. They're reclaiming the 10 day moving average. They're reclaiming the 20 day moving average. So if you are wrong, right, you're jumping off the first floor, not off the, off the 10th uh, floor. And then you have a chance to actually tell your story. So it's very, very important. Um, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Very, very strong day, uh, really strong day. That's going to probably spill over, hopefully, uh, into uh, into uh, Monday. But let me let me let me give you guys some ideas that I really like uh, for Monday's session. Uh, Tesla's ready to go. We talked about Tesla in last night's video. Again, here's my point. You know, it's coming out of a macro little channel here. It took out today's channel. It took out the the 60 minute channel we talked about last night in the video. It absolutely exploded today. And now all it needs to do is take out these highs right here from the middle of June. And this thing has a shot and go into the 770s if the market 
uh, continues its run. Uh, NVIDIA woke up today. Really, let me look at this again. This is what I'm talking about. Stock is emulating and mirroring uh, the, 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 in the indexes, right? It closed above the 20-day moving average. If this thing starts going, again, NVIDIA has been quiet for a very, very long time. If NVIDIA starts going, again, the 50-day moving average is all the way up to 182. So this is definitely on watch as well. Uh, names like Google, who is running ahead of its split, uh, is setting up almost macro, a monster, monster pivot today. Congratulations for all you guys who caught some Google today. Huge, huge move there as well. A name like TTWO, again, it's the same chart. It's coming off the bottom. A name like NET, it's coming off the bottom. So the most important part is if you're going to be right, it's gonna fill the entire gap until it magnets the 50-day moving average. If you're going to be wrong, it's going to get rejected off that level and you're gonna have a scrape knee. Again, scrape knee, versus severed head. Scrape knee versus severed head. One you're putting on Neosporin, the other one you're going in a morgue in a, in a, in a toe tag body bag. So again, very, very important not to chase uh, overextended moves. So that's it. It's kind of pretty much uh, basic for going into next week. So let's talk about the pivots. Again, it wasn't a one of those sessions that you turn around and say, wow, we really picked the right, everything exploded, right? Again, 3% move on the NASDAQ, 3% uh, move on the NASDAQ today, 7.5% uh, for the week. You didn't need to be an incredible genius trader. That's what the bull market, uh, bull, the bull market is, is your reward for getting through the bear market. And again, we're still underneath supply, but you can see very aggressive uh, bullish tendencies. And again, hopefully everybody had a, a great day. So let's talk about it one by one, even this one, RAD, we talked about this last night in the video. Uh, Tesla, 724 key level needs to confirm. Again, Tesla just is Tesla. What are you gonna say about the stock? The best stock ever. It took out this whole 24 area. We talked about this last night, right? We talked about this last night, the 60 minute area. It took out this whole 24 and all it does is do what Tesla does. Puts up a $14 candle, gorgeous, gorgeous move. And now we are set up uh, for macro for next week. Again, this is obviously the biggest move uh, today, uh, well, at least for me. Uh, Google, I didn't trade, unfortunately, it was just way too thin. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, RAD was pretty good. I'm, 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 I don't know if I'm more stunned that RAD worked or Zoom worked. Again, crazy, right? Uh, RAD, nice move yesterday. We talked about it on, on yesterday's video. Uh, here is RAD. We talked about this 810 level, traded all the way up to 884. Really, really nice move on Rite Aid. Oops, sorry. Uh, really, really nice move on Rite Aid from 808 to 880s. Really strong move there. Uh, Roku, big move. Again, a product of the of the bull run today. Uh, Roku, 97 needs to build. Here is Roku, right? Here took out 97, traded all the way up to uh, almost 101. Again, everything was going nuts today. Uh, Zoom, I'm shocked. Again, I'm shocked I made money in Zoom today. But 1953, uh, 120 needs to build. Here is Zoom. Today was like do or dive. This thing, damn thing, I had to make money. I was never going to trade it again. So here is Zoom. Uh, nice move for the 1950-20 area. Should get to about 24 uh, on Monday before it was You know, that couple of dollar move there uh, as well. Roblox went nuts again. Roblox 34, 80, 35. The whole week has just been going crazy. Uh, so here is Roblox. Uh, took out the 34, 80, 35. Went to 37. This thing still has uh, upside bias. Uh, Snow had a huge move yesterday. Uh, had a you know pretty nice move today. 146 rejected twice pre-market needs to build for a measured move to 148 and then 151. Here is Snow. Got upgraded early in the week and it filled every category, right? Filled every category. Took out 46 and traded right to uh, 152. Every single dimension got uh, taken. Uh, Google, this is the one I missed. Well, I didn't miss it. I consciously didn't take it, but 2270 needs to build. Yeah, it, it built. Uh, 2270 needs to build. It was just unfortunately way too thin for me. Uh, but 2270, all it did was uh, put up a hundred dollar move on Google. A huge move there. Congratulations for all you guys who got that uh, as well. SC, I didn't see what it did. Uh, 80 needs to build on SC. What the hell did it do? I wasn't watching SC. Uh, 80 needs to build. Eh, it looks like it only went up like a dollar. Nothing big there. Uh, 80 needs to build. Uh, Rivian, this is the only one that really didn't work. Uh, Rivian 3040 needs to build. Um, didn't really work there. Uh, here's Rivian. Uh, it went up about, uh, it went up about like what, 30 cents? Nothing. And then it came back down, uh, reversed to the downside. That one definitely did not work. Uh, Tesla 740 next stop went to 738. So 
uh, we are definitely, definitely set up. And same move on Google again. Congratulations there as well. So that's it, man. We're set up for uh, we're set up for next week. Uh, hopefully the Bulls, uh, you know, hopefully the Bulls continue on this bull run again. But again, the most important part is remember we're still underneath the 50-day moving average, and until we get over the 50-day moving average, always be conscious, always be aware. There, there could always be a rug pull. The market's just not going to say, hey, by the way, we're done rallying. Now we're going to go back down. We're just going to go back down. That's just what happens. Is But if we can continue and start building above today's ranges and start t attacking the 50-day moving average, that will be uh, the next uh, do or die scenario for the market. So guys, have a great week. Congratulations this week. It was a, a really, really lot of good moves. Bulls had a, a, a very, very good uh, uh, showing this week. And the most important part is that we are healthy and we see each other next next week with God's help. Guys, take care. God bless. I'll see you all next week.